what is up star seeds i'm sid and today i wanted to talk about why relationships friendships family dynamics but especially friendships i'm getting um are kind of complicated in pleiadian past lives in particular also like orion past lives maybe cygnus aquila alpha beta centauri some of these other uh star systems as well earth you know that's a huge one but i really want to hone in on the pleiades because this is kind of how i got this whole like enchilada of a topic if you will so let's talk about the pleiades in specific as kind of like an example for this and then we can also kind of use that example and how it relates to orion and earth and these other places as well when we go to the pleiades when people when souls choose to have an incarnation in the pleiades for example the pleiades is the place where you learn all of these different things right because there's some stars that are like all about science there's some stars that are all about music and helping animals and just learning all new different kinds of art artwork stuff like that different forms you can make art in and all of this cool stuff but so people go to the pleiades to experience all of these cool new creative things that's why people incarnate in the pleiades usually because that's the hub for all of that cool new stuff so when people are going to learn new stuff in the pleiades they're focusing on music or art or science or whatever they're doing they they have the tendency to be like well I'm here because I just had the time to learn this stuff. So not only are they going to learn how to play the banjo and take care of cats, like they're going to experience kind of drama or these interesting situations within friendships. There's going to be a love triangle or a love square or something like that. Um, there's going to be drama with siblings and best friends and brothers and sister-in-laws and things like this. Um, but interesting relationship dynamics happen in the Pleiades. That's a pretty popular place for stuff like that to happen. Also, Orion, especially recently in Orion, like during the dark time, there was like toxic relationships because there was toxic stuff going on in the environment, but also it's because like they chose to go there at an important time. And so it's similar souls who are already either in a like kind of soul group who are meeting up once again in Orion but then they're in that toxic environment so the relationship turns toxic in Alpha and Beta Centauri like in Beta Centauri at least there were super open not so jealous relationships and that was pretty popular um so that's more of kind of on the sweeter side of relationship drama is like the usually in Beta Centauri it was pretty mature. Um, Alpha Centauri I feel like there wasn't much relationship drama because there wasn't as much worry in their mindset to even have that. On Earth obviously this is a pretty dense place generally speaking. Like yeah we have amazing high vibe things that happen on Earth too but in comparison to like Arcturus or Lyra or like something like that um we're in more of a dense sphere right now so our emotions and stuff like that our feelings within certain relationship dynamics are going to come out in more of a dense low vibrational frequency therefore causing relationship drama we're not going to be able to handle it very maturely sometimes you know it happens i feel like that's kind of a common theme is like earth orion especially during the dark time when it was lower vibrational like during its kind of downfall um even the pleiades um alpha beta centauri cygnus aquila they're not as high vibrational as say lyra or arcturus where you don't really see this relationship drama in the same way okay so it's these um i've talked about the spectrum of forgetfulness and therefore kind of the spectrum of high vibe and low vibe places it's not a bad thing. It's literally just a very neutral thing. Um, it's a scientific thing. But so it's the places that are in a low enough vibration to have that drama, you know? Um, that's where the drama happens, is in places um, low enough in vibration to have the drama. So there's enough mental capacity 
to want to do these things. Kind of like how I was explaining in my ET races course why um, Pleiadians think of all of these kind of cool inventions, I think is what I was getting at, is because they are in a high enough vibration to achieve those thoughts, but they're also in a low enough vibration to worry about things. So that's why they're building and creating all of these cool things. Because if you're in a super high vibration, it's like, why even worry about that? Or if you're in a super low vibration, you can't even comprehend that. The Pleiadians are in that sweet spot to where they have the ability to process that information. They also have the ability to come up with these issues to think of that solution. So that's why they're you know, doing all of this scientific stuff. That's also why they're in that space for potential relationship drama. They're in a high enough vibration that like they want to address all of this funk and they are very telepathic. So in the Pleiades, if you're thinking a thought of like, oh, my brother-in-law is super hot, that is going to come to the surface. <laughs> like everyone in that situation is going to know how you feel at all times because it's it's telepathic for one and also it's in a high enough vibration that you're going to want to be true to yourself you're not going to want to hide secrets like that so everything comes to light there i've done a video on how on earth we kind of let stuff build up um, but in other places you can't do that because all of your emotions and feelings and thoughts are just telepathically spewed out there everywhere um but yeah so that's another reason why some of that drama might happen is because um, you're in a high enough vibration to be telepathic like that, but you're in a low enough vibration to have that thought. So it's right in that sweet spot where it's going to happen. I think that was the gist of this video is just kind of throwing those thoughts out there. Uh, if that makes sense, like there are certain places that are a sweet spot for relationship drama and that's not a bad thing it's a very um it's a thing that needs to be addressed is certain relationship dynamic drama like on earth you can feel when there's sexual tension between people you can feel um when there's when there's something there with somebody especially potentially romantically um we just need to be mature enough to be like yeah sure there's that but it's like we can just stay friends i feel like um Beta Centauri I mentioned is like kind of this open non-jealous. That is what I feel like they became masters at, even though I would classify them similar to Earth vibration. They're higher vibrational than Earth, um, or at least they were, but like that's that feeling is because they had put so much energy into mastering um their emotions within the romantic realm, especially, and just at least being friends with everybody so it was kind of a polyamorous feeling i'm not saying that's how earth needs to be i'm just saying that's what ended up working for that star system at least the majority of people within it this doesn't just go for like romantic stuff this goes for family stuff too like there is a lot of examples on earth of family drama okay because earth is a dense place and when we come here and there's certain emotions and feelings it's going to play out physically emotionally spiritually all of that funk is is going to play out on earth earth is the number one spot for relationship drama in terms of friendship and family and romance so that's all going to play out here um it's just people who have had um past lives that have also had like relationship drama um it's pretty common for it to have been in places like the pleiades or orion especially recently um or in some of these lesser talked about places like cygnus and aquila that also feel pretty similar um to earth's vibration so i just wanted to throw that thought out there let me know what you think. Let me know your experience with relationship drama in past lives, either on Earth or in some of these other star systems that we've talked about, or maybe some that I didn't mention in this video. And if there's any other topics you guys would like me to talk about, please drop a comment below and I would be happy to think on that at least. Peace out.